Okay guys, so it's 12.30 p.m. I am in an open piece of land above me. No shade, no nothing. Just the bright hot sun in my E39 here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to be sitting inside the car, engine off, aircon off, and see how long I can tahan in there. This video is brought to you by Evo Club Car Wash. Our motto is service and solutions. You can bring your car to us for deep cleaning, shining, full-on restoration, or just a regular wash. Whatever it is you need help sorting out on your car, we are more than happy to assist. To get in touch with us, drop us a line on Facebook, Instagram, or WhatsApp us on the number on your screen now. Okay, so now you can see here, huh? engine is off. Huh? This is my GoPro. I'm going to switch on the GoPro. I'm going to transfer you guys over. Okay. And right. So now this is not a stunt uh, to, to, it's not really specifically a stunt like one of those, you know, ice bucket challenges and whatnot to, to see how long you can tahan in there. No, there is a very scientific reason, reason for me to do this video. And it is actually meant as a performance test of my Glass Tech Alpha window films. Now, if you remember from one of my earlier, earlier videos, uh, this Glass Tech window film was installed back at Wern's Auto House. Now they are no longer around. All right. Uh, this is the Glass Tech Alpha film, which is the second in second highest in the range. That's the, the, the range topping Glass Tech Omega. Mine is Glass Tech Alpha, and uh, below it, they have Glass Tech Zeta, which is the, uh, the most basic film. And recently, they've added a Sigma in between Alpha and uh and zeta as sort of like a value film okay so now this film has been in on this car i think for three years at least before installed way before even the pandemic um and there was one particular time i remember uh i was waiting for my wife inside the car uh she was going to do run some errands i was inside the car and i didn't want to waste fuel right so i just switched off the engine and at the same time i was taking a call so i just sat inside the car answered the call and surprisingly right uh, i think i was in in there 10 minutes at least hot afternoon sun didn't break sweat okay so today i've decided that you know uh now that this film has been three or four years old i am going to put this film to the test again i'm going to be sitting outside here in the midday sun and see how long i can tahan in here before before i give up okay so um right now of course the Alpha film in glass text range, they have introduced a newer, uh, improved version called Alpha 2 that has a better overall performance. So, um, right, so I've right now what actually worked out a arrangement between Evo Club Car Wash and Glass Tech, whereby you can go through us and get your get your cars tinted with glass tech films. Okay, so and in and prices are the same, right? Whether you go to us or go to them. But through us, we include inside the pricing for Zeta and Omega, uh, for Zeta and Sigma range of films, Enduro Stage 1 package inside the, the, the price of the film. And if you take the Alpha and Omega, Alpha and Omega films, we include a full Enduro Stage 2 treatment for your car. So what is the difference between st uh, Enduro Stage 1 and Stage 2? Enduro Stage 1 basically is a regular exterior wash coupled with a detailed interior clean. So we will steam clean all your interior surfaces uh, and also plus we will, sh uh, we will also brush all the door frames, the boot water channels, deep clean your car boot. Uh, we will also apply leather conditioning on your seats. We will also uh, put dash fresh to give your, your, your dashboard the extra shine. Enduro Stage 2 is all that, plus we add engine washing, we add one step polish, a detailed exterior wash, one step polish and wax. Okay, so basically think about it. Enduro Stage 1 is interior detailed cleaning. Enduro Stage 2 is inside 
and outside detailed cleaning with uh, with polish and wax. Okay, so um, while I'm waiting for my first drop of sweat to come along, let me just run you through the specs of the of the films. Okay, so let me just give, give me a second to search this on my phone. I'm going to run this. Uh, I'm going to film this video on a one take. There, will, I won't be, I won't be making any cuts. Okay, just so that you can see the actual length of time that I spent inside here in the car. Okay, so uh, now there is of course the Zeta range of films. That's the entry level film, and prices for Zeta range from two thousand to two thousand five hundred ringgit. We include an enduro stage one package in the offer. So with Zeta films, right, you get. 52% visible light transmission, which means that the film lets in 52% of the visible light spectrum into the car. Uh, it reflects 8% of visible light. Total, total solar energy rejection, now this is the important figure, 45%. So 45% of the solar energy is reflected out. Uh, UV rejection, this is the one that, that protects, your, protects you from... from you know, cancer and all that, right? 99% infrared rejection, 85%, and you have 1.5 mil thickness. Thickness is 1.5 mil. There's also the option of Zeta S, which is 4 mil. Prices range from 2,500 to 3,200 ringgit. Now, then there's also the Sigma Films. Sigma Films is a value-driven, it's, it's sort of like a value film, okay, whereby it's better than entry level, but not as costly as Alpha, all right? Cost of it, 2,600 to 3,300 ringgit, uh, you get 62% visible light transmission, okay? Um, total solar energy rejection is much higher from 45% earlier, we are up to 54%. Uh, UV rejection, once again, more than 99%. Infrared rejection, 92%. The thickness is slightly higher, 1.75 mil. So price is 2,006 to 3,003. If you want the thicker, 6 mil, which is the safety film, which is the one where in case, you know, you get, uh, it prevents breakage. That is 3,400 to 4,000 ringgit. Now, uh, the same range alpha film that's, that I'm getting here, this is, uh, now they have what they call alpha 3.0. That's an improved version of the one that I'm having here. That one gives you 67% visible light uh, transmission, 62% solar energy rejection, and of this one, infrared rejection goes up to 97%. This one, if you want added safety, there's also the option of 6 mil to 9 mil films. Prices for alpha is 3,300 to 4,100. If you want the 6 mil, it's 4,001 to 5,000. Uh, as the uh, 9 mil version is 5,001 to 6,000 ringgit. The top of the range, Omega 2.0 model. Uh, this one has this one gives you 70% visible light transmission, but total solar energy rejection is 67%. Infrared rejection also is 97%. This one, this film is 2 mil thick at a minimum, but there's also the option of 6 mil and 9 mil thickness. Uh, prices range from 4,100, start from 4,100 ringgit for the basic 2 mil version. Up to 4,900 if you go to SUV and MPV installation. Um, Omega, the 6 mil, the 6 mil one is 4,007 to 5,008. And the 9 mil option is 5,009 to 6,800 ringgit. Okay, so um, the benefits of glass tech films that I have, that I can tell you over my period of usage over the, the last three is that firstly, uh, it does not block smart tech usage, okay? Because this is not a it, because it's not a metalized film. It is a uh, it's based on ceramic, so it does not block your your smart tech usage. That's one, uh, and also it does not interfere with RFID because remember your RFID tag you cannot put it where there is metal. So when you have installed films that use metalized. They are metalized, you can uh it will interfere with the effective operation of your RFID. Now, the other thing is that right now, as you can see, it's sunny out there, and I put my hand out here. I, I, I don't get a burning feeling on my palms. Okay, so it means that the actual the effectiveness in the way it rejects heat is there. Now, the other the what but what was the 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 um the point which I really 
really was, you know, got me to, to invest on a good film in this car is that there was one day I noticed that one of the panels when I parked this car under the sun were literally melting in front of my eyes. That was when I realized that I need uh, for this car because it's a 20 year old car, the plastics are no longer young. So that was when I realized I need a good window film to protect this car under heat. So uh, in, from, from the elements and that's when I, I installed this and then on, I never had the, the it really helped to protect the plastics of the car, of the interior. That's one. Now, the other thing also is that with a good window film, with good heat rejection, what it means is that on hot sunny days, it is less strain on your air conditioning. So you your air conditioning does not need to work as hard to keep your car cool on you know on a bright uh on a bright sunny day. Okay, so I've got some sweat on my forehead ready. Okay, I think that it I think it's time for me to to call an end to the challenge. It's been 10 minutes I'm sitting here. I'm gonna start the engine, but I have to say that you know, even now as I uh as I as I sit inside here, it's bare. It's not what I would call uncomfortable. Okay, so if let's say like if I've left this car out here, parked in the sun, and I go go out have lunch, come back in here, it would take barely a few minutes for the air conditioning to cool the cabin back to a comfortable temperature. Okay, so therein lies the value of a good window film. So you can go, you see the thing is that you can, they're out there, right? you can always see like, you know, when you drive past some places, you can see like, ah, oh, you know, tinted for 80 ringgit, four windows or 130 ringgit or what. But the question is this, if all if all you do is just putting a black film on your, win, on your windows that don't actually do the job of rejecting the heat, um, you are actually not doing anything to help your car because a good what a good window film does is that it really rejects the heat out from the cabin because heat is the number one enemy of all your interior plastics all the glue inside the car that holds the roof lining and all that all these degrade due to heat so if you have a good window film that rejects a high percentage of heat it protects your cabin think of it as an investment and because your air conditioning does not have to work as hard to cool the interior of your cabin it means that it allows your air con system to last that bit longer all right uh, before wearing out all right so uh, whether or not you so guys whether or not you use you go with glass tech or, or or some other film lah, it does not matter what's the point uh, the point is that invest in a good film to give your car the best heat heat uh, best possible heat protection so that you know your plastics in there last that little bit longer your air conditioning system does not have to work as hard and you also enjoy a more comfortable ride in the process but if you are interested to have your cars tinted with glass tech films do let do contact us at evo club car wash 012-488-0367 we'll have your we will arrange for your you can drop the car at our sungai bersi outlet we will send the car over to glass tech's outlet in glen mary have your car tinted brought back to us and we will do the full in enduro interior cleaning package for you before handing the car back to you all right we will also uh have at our disposal pick up and return service so we can actually send a driver to your house collect the car bring to uh collect the car get everything sorted and sent back to you so you don't even need to take time off your busy schedule to get all these things done okay uh yeah so hit us up uh for any inquiries if you want to tint your car or if you want to to do any other if you need any other cleaning services in your car or whatnot or anything for that matter drop us a line our number or dm us on our social media channels okay so that's it for today's video guys take care stay safe see you again soon